What phone do you think is better when comparing options, cost, and usage with the iPhone and the Android? There are many options to consider when choosing a cell phone. Which one costs less? Which one has the coolest apps? Does it have 4G, etc.? In order to help you make a better decision, we have done some research and found some interesting facts about each device. Did you know that the first iPhone was um, released on June 29, 2007? When you're thinking about buying an iPhone, there are a few options to um, consider, such as the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, and the iPhone 5. There are many accessories for the iPhone 5. One of the must-have iPhone accessories is the charger. First being the plane charger, and they have the charging dock, the car charger, and the wireless charging pad where you can charge multiple devices at one time. The iPhone has a very large variety of phone cases too, such as the extremely protective OtterBox and the cool looking neon colored cases. The iPhone also has an accessory that gives it more battery life. While the iPhone has all of these options, the Android has more options when you're talking about buying the device. As we're talking about some of these options, we will now discuss cost comparisons between the two. Cost is going to be a major factor in choosing a smartphone. The iPhone 5 at 16 gigabytes is 199, uh, 32 gigabytes is 299, and 64 gigabytes is 399. So a lot of the, these, um, this phone without the plan is going to be um, uh, 649 for the 16, for 32 is going to be 749, and then for 64 is going to be 849. Um, the iPhone 4S is going to be 199 for each gigabyte, and to unlock it without the plan, like an MP3, is going to be um, 549. The iPhone 4 is completely free, and to unlock it without a plan is 450. The Android um, DNA um, is 199, and Android only sells one gigabyte, which is the 4, and to unlock it is um, 659. And then the Android Razor is 149, which is only has um, one gigabyte, which is the 4, and is 595. The average of the top 100 paid apps for Android is um, 347. $3.47, and then the top 100 paid for Apple is $1.47. So they're about the same, um, more expensive for iPhone, but has cheaper apps. And Android Razor, or the Android, is cheaper, but is, has more expensive apps. And that's all I have there. Okay. Now that we've looked at costs, now we got to look at the usage of the phones. After looking at all that we've gathered, we determined that the Droid is better in battery life because it has 40% longer battery life. The Android also permits you to have interchangeable batteries, so you can put a new battery in after one dies. Whereas the iPhone, the battery is permanent. You cannot remove it or access it. The Android has an estimated 353 hours of standby time, whereas the iPhone only has 250. Also, the Android has 12 hours of talk time, whereas the iPhone only has around eight. We've also looked at the memory of each phone, and for the iPhone, when you once you buy it, it's fixed with 16, uh, 32, or 64. Whereas the Android, you can buy these micro SD cards and vary your memory between two gigabytes and 64 gigabytes. In total, we have determined that the Droid DNA is better than the iPhone because it has, it is more open source and can be plugged into a USB port, which is also used on many other phones. It has significantly longer battery life, and even Apple co-founder Steve Jobs stated that the battle between the two phones is very close, and we believe that it won't be long until Android pulls ahead.